Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Lightfall Season of the Wish Intel. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through this week's Nightfall and GM Nightfall, which once again is the Heist Battleground Moon. If you can complete this strike, there is a very good chance that you will be earning yourself the Undercurrent Grenade Launcher, which is heavily sought after. And of course, if you can complete this at the GM difficulty with a Platinum score, you will guarantee yourself the Adept version of this week's Nightfall weapon. I say it's going to be the undercurrent grenade launcher as we currently have six different strikes in the current Nightfall rotation and eight weapons as we had two new ones added at the beginning of this month and the rotation has been changed somewhat. We were supposed to get the grenade launcher I believe a couple of weeks ago and instead we got the bow. So it's a very good chance since we had the slammer sword last week that this week will be the undercurrent. If you are trying to do this as a solo player, there's plenty of glitches, tips, and tricks that you're probably going to want to know. And especially if you're doing this in a group, a lot of these things will also come in very handy. Today is also the second live stream for Into Light, so I suggest if you're not watching this video, maybe head over to the Bungie live stream and check it out as it looks like it's going to be excellent and certainly a much needed update to the game as we are starved for content at the moment. The first major glitch that I wanted to share with everybody, and this is very good for solo players, specifically hunters, which are probably going to be the go-to solo class. In the very first room where you have to protect your ghost, there is a way to jump up on the roof of this room and avoid all the damage from down beneath. Nothing will bleed through the floor, and you can just take your time in that section. Probably the go-to, as I said, for solo players specifically. If you're in a group... You will need, of course, a Well of Radiance Warlock for the other strat, which is to hold the entrance area. You can always retreat back through the entrance if the ads start to rush you, as they will not actually follow you through the entrance door. Or, if you want to do these things a little bit faster, you can go to the opposite side of the room. Again, you will need a Well of Radiance Warlock. And set up base behind these two boxes, which will put you more into the action. It's also a better vantage point to take out the champions as they enter but you will be getting rushed a lot more and there's no area to really retreat to. So make sure if you're using that strat that you are prepared to face a lot more ads and just a lot more fire overall. For the next area where you're going to have to use the lasers to take out the runes so that you can enter the boss room, this is another spot where a invis hunter is going to really come in handy. So for you solo players, this is going to be the spot where you will definitely shine out the most. The first laser can be acquired from the top of the door, and you can usually take out two and a half runes if you do it right. I would suggest fanning the trigger versus holding down the laser. That'll get you more bang for the buck. But you're going to need to make a move either to the left or the right, of course, in order to get a second laser. Like I said, you should be able to do this with two. So invis hunters, that's where you're going to be really the most sought after. And... Remember that if you can complete that in a two-minute period or a three-minute period, actually, you will earn yourself another round of heavy ammo. So make sure that you use your heavy ammo if you are trying to protect one of your teammates in that section. Or if you're a solo player, just make sure that you know that you can use your heavy up. You will get more. For the boss room, there is an excellent glitch that will make the whole thing a lot easier. The ceiling of this boss arena is very high up and you can actually get above the boss arena simply by going up to this gantry up top. You can actually get here from both sides, either the entrance of the room or the back side of the room where the boss is going to be spawning or where the chest will be spawning. Note that if you go to the back side where the boss is spawning, there is a invisible kill barrier on that side of the room. So make sure that if you follow the jumping path that you saw in the clip, you don't go too far back. As you can see, there was a floating orb of one of our dead teammates who had actually gone a little bit too far in that particular situation. So I would actually suggest maybe trying to make the jump from the entrance side, as you saw me do there. Makes the whole thing a little bit easier. There's no real invis kill barrier on that side. But once you're up here, the first wave of damage to the boss is going to be super easy. You can take out all the adds from up here. I would suggest starting with the lower level adds and working your way up to the ones that will be dropping the nodes that you'll have to deposit and then doing the damage to the boss. Again, the first phase of damage is going to be the easiest. It's going to be when you have to go back down to the bottom and deposit the nodes 
in order to trigger the second phase of damage on the boss that's going to be more difficult. So again, hunters with invis are really going to be the standouts in that particular scenario. But if you're a solo player playing on a different class, like Warlock, again, Well of Radiance is going to come in very handy. I would just suggest planting your Well of Radiance right near where you're going to need to deposit the orbs and then maybe retreating back towards the room so that you can at least have the cover of your Well of Radiance or if you're on a Titan, maybe a bubble would also work in this particular situation. You can also duplicate the orbs if you are quick enough. You can drop them and then deposit them. That's the order, dropping and then depositing versus depositing and then dropping. It's not a guarantee, but it could help you if you could get it down to a science to double up on the orbs that you'll need to dis deposit so that you can progress to the second phase of damage. But once you get that done, as you could say, I retreat back up to the top and you can do the second phase of boss damage. Should make this whole thing really easy. This is a very long strike, but overall I would say not the most difficult as far as the ads you're going to be fighting as the terrain does allow you a lot of these cheeses or glitch spots where you can just stay out of danger. But like any of the battlegrounds, there's a lot more ads. So that's the thing that's probably going to make it the toughest for solo players. Good luck farming this week. Hopefully it is the undercurrent. I would love to hear in the comments section down below if you are getting rewarded the undercurrent or maybe the Braytech Offspray rocket launcher. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if this video was helpful. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Remember, any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel, and we do one every 1,000 subscribers, so you never want to miss out. I'm going to let the rest of the video just sort of play out again so you can see all these clips without me talking if you want to sort of focus in or just get another recap of all the specific places that you can hide out. If you've watched till this point in the video, you can leave a hashtag into light or a hashtag season of the wish or a hashtag lightfall or a hashtag nightfall or a hashtag GM nightfall in the comments section down below for another entry into the next giveaway on this YouTube channel. Remember, we do one every 1,000 subscribers. And when we reach 100,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away an Xbox Series X or a video card of equivalent value. Thanks so much for watching once more. Big shout out to my bunny sister for helping me get these clips. And as always, I am Wilhelm Scream. Of course, we will see you next time.